Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at my rubber lip pleco um, and I'm going to address some changes in this tank. Um, so the rubber lip pleco, I actually have two of these in this tank. Um, I can't find the other one though and you'll notice I have a female guppy right here on the side. There's actually three of them in here now and uh, they're actually a strain that I've been working on breeding. Um, so I, I ordered them in the off a website and uh, all the males came in dead, uh, some of the females, and I, I actually managed to save three of them. So I have, I've had these in my other tank, my 55 gallon tank, which I just sold recently. So, you know, I had to rehome them, but my Pleco moved. He's over here now. And uh, he's actually been in here the past two videos no the past one video and then this one he's been in here about three weeks it's been a couple weeks since i posted but uh it's they're just impossible to see that in the in all these plants they're just gone and uh, i'm actually kind of worried about the other one i haven't seen him for like a week and uh, i don't know if he's like underneath this wood right here or something but if he dies somewhere where i can't see the snails are just gonna eat him so I don't know, we'll see if he turns up in this jungle of a tank, but uh, here's the one. I've had him both for a while, so I don't think he's dead. I just think he's impossible to find right now. But uh, yeah, they're pretty awesome. They do pretty good with algae, and I actually have them in here, hopefully to deal with the blackbeard algae. There's two of the females, they're sleeping right there. All five neon tetras are still in here. Uh, they're a little faded right now because they're sleeping. But yeah. There's two more. I did a big trimming of this. This tank I actually didn't water change or uh, work on for like t probably a week and a half, two weeks since my last video basically. And uh, uh, it was just covered in hair algae pretty much on every plant. And it's creeping back up on that java fern so i actually should probably do a water change tomorrow to get it all under control but i might not have time tomorrow because i'm working on the house we're putting it up for sale soon so i figured i'd do a quick update uh so i sold my 135 gallon tank i sold my 55 gallon tank and uh basically that's why the females are in here um, I got rid of the males because I don't want them to impregnate the females with uh, this strain, you know. So uh, the guy who bought my 135 is doing a community tank. And I'm like, hey, do you want some male guppies for free? I'll throw them in. And he ended up taking them. So that was good. It worked out. You know, I was able to sell that tank no problem. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But, uh... Once I move, I'll probably start something else new up. Uh, but till then, it's just going to be this tank, which is still pretty awesome. This tank's pretty fun. I love working on it. You know, small planted tanks are pretty dang fun to work on. I definitely recommend it as like... Sorry about the dog. I definitely recommend it as like a first tank. So, anyways guys, that's the update for today. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodaloo.